Hello, hello, and welcome back to Our Little Path. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, thanks for joining. We are continuing on with our curriculum choices for 2023 to 2024. Today is all about science. So our science curriculum that we'll be utilizing for my fifth grader and my third grader. Third grader? Third grader. Wow, gosh, that's crazy to say. Um, so if you're interested, stick around. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're enjoying these curriculum videos. If you are looking for the other videos that I've released so far, I will link them here above. Also, some of our past curriculum videos as well for other grade levels. If you like curriculum videos, you're interested in science, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to see more as well. I'd love for you guys to join me. So science is a shared study in our family. So we do it around the table style and everyone is kind of assessed based on their grade level, age level. So we like to do a lot of learning together. If you've watched our history and social studies video that came out, you will see that we also do that as well as like a family style um, learning. So yeah, that's just kind of how we like to do it. I think it's a lot easier to teach that way on mom's time but also like i've seen my younger kids learn a lot just by listening in um and maybe not necessarily quizzed or questioned on as much as like our older kid would be questioned on like review of the information if that makes sense so family study we the last two years have been using Building Foundations of Scientific Understanding by Dr. Bernard Neville. And we're just finishing that up at the end of that um, learning progression is a like rock and mineral study. So I, I decided to do, instead of doing the, the few chapters in the first book of Building Foundations, is I went ahead and got the Good and the Beautiful's geology study, um, unit study. So that's actually what we're gonna do as like our first 2023 to 2024 science is we're gonna do a little tiny unit study on geology. And I'm super excited because this one's pretty cool. Um, the kit that comes from the Good and the Beautiful is you get the science, um, the lessons, obviously. It comes with like a little rock and mineral kit. Um, and then you can purchase the student journal extra. So we have student journals for the kids to fill out. I actually only have one because we're on Arizona ESA. It's kind of confusing how you have to buy things. So I'll, I haven't decided if I'm going to get a student journal for Lewis yet. Um, I probably will. Um, and I'll get a student journal for him to fill out as well. I just have to make that purchase. Um, and then it comes with these two books, The World Beneath My Feet and Rocks and Minerals Study. So those are also in conjunction with the um, lessons. And then I went ahead and bought the supplemental, which is actually for seventh to eighth grade, but it's on caves. So even if the kids don't get quizzed on it, like who doesn't want to learn about caves? We've already done a cave unit study a couple years ago, but I think this is pretty cool. And this is nice to have like as a nice book on caves too. So that's kind of how we're gonna start off the year um, when we move into this science. But then after we do this little unit study, which usually when we do a unit study like this, we'll complete it in like a month. So this is 14 lessons. So we'll probably do like two or three lessons a week just to um, kind of move through our science. Um, so yeah, we have the good and the beautiful and then the G building foundations of scientific understanding. That is the first book in a three book series by Dr. Neville. And the first book is a two years progression. And then the next book is elementary science education. And so this is for third through fifth grade, um, which if you, um, read anything on Dr. Neville, or if you've like joined their Facebook group, you'll see that they like, he recommends always starting with level one. Um, even if your kid was like in fifth grade and you wanted to start this because really it teaches you how to, teaches the kids how to ask why, um, be curious, look for answers. And this will build off of level one as well. So like even in 
the um, the like table of contents, the learning progressions, it has A, B, C, and D. These progressions build off of the first book. So this starts with lesson A11, whereas it tells you lessons A1 through A10 can be found in volume one. So, um, but we're actually using this not as our spine, but as our supplement, because I decided building foundations is very um, parent, parent heavy, I guess you could say, in just the planning aspect of it. Once you do it, it's really easy and it actually like really love how the progression goes, but there is um, a good amount of planning that's involved for parents. So what I think I'm gonna use this as, is I'm gonna use this as my like, kind of educate myself material. And then we are gonna be using scientific connections through inquiry, which this was created by a parent um, who's an educator, but they use building foundations and then they wanted to kind of like make more of like a easier pathway for it. So this is based very heavily off of, um, BFSU. And, um, so we're going to do so this. With scientific connections through inquiry. They, um, used Dr. Nebel's books as like building blocks for how they formulate their lessons and like their topics, but it's not made by Dr. Neville, if that makes sense. There's a lot of like intermingling that goes on. It's kind of confusing, but it's all in the same theory as Dr. Neville's work and curriculum. So it's a print at home course. So um, yeah, I haven't got a binder yet. <laughs> To buy binder. Level three. Level three is the starter level for um, this second volume. And this is a one year progression. In the elementary science education, you can do it over two years with two lessons a week. We like to do science a little bit slower. So um, I think what we're going to end up doing is we'll do level three this year. And then there's level four and five that also follow in this book, so in the blue book. So um, we'll just kind of turn it into like a three-year progression because this is um, a 36-week program. So we'll do probably level three, four, and five over the next three years is my guess as long as I don't go crazy and change anything, which I really like how this is formulated. So it's probably what we'll stick to. I do have the learning progression that I printed out from the BSFU um, Facebook page. It's super helpful. I will link my video above on the first volume. And that goes over like how to find the Facebook group and all of that. If you're interested, highly recommend. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing SCI. Um, I know that some of my viewers have asked about that, about SCI, and that's kind of how we're going. I just really needed something this year with the twins still being babies. Like I needed something a little less parent prep heavy. So because it comes with um, like everything you need to do, and let me see if I can get, like it comes with like everything you need to read. It's all prepped, ready to go. They have videos. They have updated book lists because some of the book lists and Dr. Nubbles are um, not expired. What is it? They don't make the books anymore. Um, and then it comes with student guides too. This is two, two student guides because um, I printed one out for each kid. But um, the student guides kind of give the activities for the kids to record places, make their notes on what you're learning, drawing, you know, when you're looking at microscopes. So it kind of gives a place for the kids already ready to go. Uh, I don't have to prepare. So SCI is how we went. If I wouldn't have had the twins this year, I probably would have just done this and continued on and I wouldn't have bought um, SCI, but because SCI is so close to what Dr. Neville already does and I really, really like how he explains things, how he teaches things um, and really just, I feel like the kids have learned so much just from his first volume. Um, I feel confident that using the scientific connections through inquiry with this book combined 
um, as like, you know, a reference guide, then um, I think the kids are gonna do really well. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to kind of have something a little less prep heavy this year. It's definitely needed just at the stage in life that we're at. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be working on. I know it's pretty, pretty simple. I can definitely um, do a, a broader look through through SCI. If that's something you guys want, let me know in the comments below. Um, or if you'd like a look through for the Building Foundations Level 2, um, I can do a look through in that as well. But yeah, let me know. I hope that this was helpful. I know we're not like super crazy on science in the sense of like varying it up, but like I've said in some of my other videos, like if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we're not really fixing it. We're kind of just going with uh, an online version of Dr. Neville's uh, program. So have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.